And so it was in a state of agitation that George Sr. arrived for his doctor's appointment. Excuse me, Dr. Norman? You're mistaken. Dr. Norman, it's me, George Bluth. Oh, George. Yes, thank you for meeting me here. I'd like to do a little house cleaning on the fourth. Old quinceanera candles. I was wondering if you could tell me my test results. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, well, your testosterone numbers are off the charts. Below the charts. Under the charts. I don't know how to say that. You have almost no testosterone at all. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's somewhere in the baby range. On the plus side, your estrogen levels are that of a very healthy woman in the throes of her menses. May I see my results? Oh, I wish you'd asked me about five minutes ago. I think I dumped it with a pot pipe and a bottle of cheetah sedative. Also, the people at Orange County Imaging said that you were masturbating in an MRI tube. Oh, no. But, doctor, you, you told me to. I did no such thing. Oh, no. No. No, you can't do that. That sounds like something I would say when I had my thinking cap on. <laughs> you, sir, are a very funny lady. That's what they always say to the unattractive one. It was finally time for Herbert Love to make his speech when the party was suddenly ransacked. Of course, it was Cinco, so it took a while for anyone to notice. It appeared the Hispanic community had had enough of Cinco de Cuatro. Oh the blowback. But the blowback created a greater blowback, as the crowd that had gathered to hear Herbert Love speak was whipped into a frenzy. And that's when George Sr. knew he was in real trouble. Fortunately, he was able to find a disguise. Oh, God. Unfortunately. This feels right. 